Hi guys, this is Doris again and I was going to do a prediction video concerning the semi finals but then something else came into my mind which is I'd like to make a kind of a tribute um, video for Norway because um, I found that this, I still think, it's the, my favorite, uh, my favorite uh, ESC country. And um, there are some reasons for this. Um, so when it comes to watching the Eurovision Song Contest, uh, I've been doing this for decades. Um, I still, I also remember when I was about eight or nine years old, um, I watched um, ABBA winning uh, the contest uh, which was a big deal of course and uh, but of course I have my favorites of course it is Italy it is also um, Ireland but in the last let's say 20 years um, yes it comes to Norway and I will explain you why this is and uh, let's start with my first choice, um, a beautiful song um, called I'm Not Afraid to Move On from uh, 2003 and here it is. Okay, does not work. There it is. It's by Josh Stein Hasselgard. I'm sure I pronounced it wrong. It's so beautiful. It's a love song. It's a Schlager-like composition. But it's heartwarming. It's not really kitschy. It's emotional. Yeah. It's just a wonderful song. Yes, and this was in 2003. And now let's come to another one. Only two years later, and I was really thrilled by a band called Wigwam that, uh, yes, introduced glam rock and I just loved it and I still do today. So, and here it is. 2005, Wigwam in my dreams. So, exactly my kind of music. Oh, they look great, they sounded great. And to me it was a big surprise. Yeah, it's great. Great makeup as well. Unfortunately, after that, I never heard anything of that band, but I'm sure that um, maybe they are still around. I don't know. If you know, tell me in the comments. Yeah, great song. Yes. Good one. Also, I think uh, it reached a top 10. Yeah, now let's come to something you, I'm quite sure all of you know. Um, again, it's um, two years later and I'm searching for a wonderful song by a young man with a violin. You all know what I mean, of course. It is fairy tale. So cute. Such a talented boy, young man. Yeah, well deserved, unforgettable. Also, the staging was great. 
so much going on and again quite different from the other ones so still enjoy listening to that yes so of course he won Eurovision which was a plausible thing and so deserved yeah just one year later it was the last time of our German success with Lena and they would have made a lovely couple I thought but it didn't work out so let's stick to Norway and let's come to again something completely different it's Margaret Berger I feed you my love and this is from 2030 13 sorry yeah and here it is it's a great what is it it is electronic pop a ballad and she is such an amazing person her charisma her stage presence I was just blown away and her voice so special really unique and she looked so wonderful in that white dress very tight oh what a beauty move on um, then it's again <laughs> two years later it is uh, my next pick which is very interesting and memorable um, a monster like me from 2015 and here it is It's a duet, first part sung by the boy, the man, very soft. And then comes the female voice. And finally they come together. song it stick to me a very interesting composition staging is great yeah if you haven't watched it or heard it before do it I really recommend it So let's leave those monsters and then again two years later I don't know why but it's really always every second year there is something very very great and um, so my next pick my next reason for loving Norway so much at uh, ESC is uh, Joost if that's correct this was such a great song Grab the moment, 2017. This was terrific. So, 
It's just, watching this, it's amazing. Much charisma and also that DJ drummer person in the back. A bit scary, but the whole thing was so special. Yes. Wanna grab the moment? <laughs> yeah. So, and then we are approaching my absolute favorite of all Norway Eurovision entries. And um, yeah, I was blown away and I was a bit disappointed that it didn't win because it was my absolute favorite. Yes. So, Kano, wonderful. And here it is. Spear in the Sky 2019. Everything, everything about this is great. The visuals, the three voices, the female crystal voice, Tom with a Joiking, Joiken, I don't know. It was the favorite of, um, yes, the public. I remember that the jury spoiled it a bit. This is my winner. It's perfect Eurovision song. And in general, I would say now, two years later, but I must admit that um, last year's entry of Norway was not my favorite. It was okay, but um, to finish this, I would look into the future just a very bit because the next um, contest is uh, happening soon. And of course we know the Norwegian entry and I have great expectations for this of course you all know what I mean so it's just <laughs> everything I like so yes Sapufa give that wolf a banana Give that entry a decent place, at least top five, or let's say top three, or maybe even more. You shouldn't be too humble. Best of luck, Norway. And thank you very much for delivering that much quality to Eurovision. And of course, it's always different. And I hope that I could show you this by just playing several songs from the last 20 years to you. I love all of them. And you can see how different they are, and how unique they are. And go on like that, Norway. Best of luck, kisses, and goodbye.